Good morning. Uh, this is Rajai Kahel, and I'm going to show you my next generation of uh, this uh, charger, mobile charger or LED lighter, uh, using uh, thermoelectric uh, generators modules, uh, which is here between the two aluminium sheets. I will link the the name of uh, of the, of these uh, models, the model number. So what I made here in this uh, one, I stacked them above each other, two of them, between these aluminium sheets with some thermal silicone, and here is a, a temperature sensor. Uh, it can read up to 300 uh, Celsius. I can turn it on. So now it's 24. And uh, this is a CPU cooler, tower style. Here is a fan. It can uh, spread uh, the heating like if you are <coughs> if you are using if you are using this on a stove wood stove or so it can spread the heat uh, instead of using uh, that uh, that device that has only uh, a fan so this can spread the heat with the fan and it has two USBs for charging your mobile and for LED lighting. This is a flexible LED lighting. And here is the voltage converting and uh, adjusting module. This fan I designed it and printed it, printed it with my 3D printer. And the DC motor which is mounted there uh, it's from an old uh, CD, uh, CD-ROM driver. What more? I think that's it. Let's test it, show you how it works. Turn on this piece. Let's say on four. It can handle up to um i think 240 celsius degrees more than that it will be dangerous for the modules so they may get burned it started to, to run as you know when it cools more it uh, generates more electricity Temperature now 47 49. Let's see when the LED will, will light. It's quite strong, as you see. Quite strong. If if we can replace the this motor with a <coughs> lower current motor, it will produce more uh, electricity also. But this is for now. Eighty degrees. Started to light. So the LED lights at 90. So now we are spreading the heat. So it's not always here. And also we have 
a light. Actually, it's a strong light. It can light one room, especially when it's uh, when it heat a little more. One hundred twenty-six. Let's give it on number five. It's quite strong and will be stronger also. This one was from a uh, cooker, uh, cooker uh, temperature sensor. It's quite cheap and uh, usable. Now 150 degrees. Let's try to charge this phone while we use the LED. Charging. So charging and the LED is lighting. The fan is super. Temperature 176. Cool. Charging. Is the LED for the module? So this is basically just uh, converting one to two USBs. It's quite strong now. 200 degrees it can go up more but just let it stay like this nice so maybe if I remove the LED it will charge also faster but I'm just testing right now two hundred and twenty okay cool so now I turned it off and it's just running itself the fan is super strong we don't need that strong motor for a fan but that that what I had for the test because this is quite strong motor and it will drag some uh, current I used uh, this uh, the holder for the motor it's uh, from a mobile phone frame aluminium frame I just cut it and put the two screws down there and uh, fix the, the cooler to the aluminium sheet with some thermal silicone white one and red one 
and this is a glass fiber tube here and there also so it can protect the cables from the heating it doesn't look so good right now but it does a great job as you see and now it's daylight so this this light is quite strong see the fan now is much stronger but the light is quite strong also so now like this we managed to spread the heat for a stove light a room and charge your mobile phone three in one simple to make and uh, useful for uh, a lot of places where you don't have electricity maybe or outside And it's better than uh, the ones that you can make with uh, water cooling because you don't have to change the water and also you are spreading the heat if you are using a wood stove cool uh, ask me anything guys in the comment uh, comment section and I will replay as soon as possible or if, if you suggest anything also okay good luck bye bye